Hello, everybody. I thought I'd just share with you my, uh, so far, my favorite uh, way to start a brand new city. doesn't really matter what map you're in, um, so I'll basically generically have the same kind of starting point, right? The two highway uh, connections. Um, so yeah, you can transfer it from map to map. Um, I don't really remember which one this is, to be honest. Um, but I think it was like the second or third choice. Either way, um, pick whatever map you want, and let's just get started. So you'll notice right off the get-go, you actually don't have very many roads to work with. You only have just the one. When you place this anywhere, you get a, a new set of roads to work with. So you can kind of see already. Some new ones. Um, we'll just erase this. We don't actually need it. And you get a partial refund when you uh, delete stuff, which is really cool. So to get us started, I'm basically going to continue the um, the highway. And uh, we have options to use like the six lane wide roads, but they're very expensive. Um, they do a better job of managing traffic, but realistically, it's like you don't need like you don't have to worry about traffic yet, right? It's just not not an issue. So don't don't spend the extra money. The maintenance isn't worth it either. So just draw out the two lane. Make sure they're one ways. And we'll just go up here. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a starting residential point just right here, and we'll do a little bit of a breakaway industry part just right here. It's going to be pretty compact, but the goal of it is just to get us um, kind of like going. Oh, whenever you build your first roads, you'll see you'll take on the maintenance cost. Um, just hit the space bar, pause the game, or you hit the pause over here. And that just kind of keeps us from having to spend the, the money here. Um, basically, the game doesn't have a, um, a tool that allows you to draw a perfectly straight road. Like, it'll give you like grids and suggestions. That's only if you're connected to another road. Um, when you're trying to do like this kind of stuff, just line up the on and off ramps or continue your highway, it's a little bit frustrating. But what you can do is you can kind of cheat and just use the grid pattern from the adjacent tile. And you'll see if I'm in the, um, the grid, I get these snap points. And if I'm over here, it's nice and you know smooth. So if you want, we can kind of see this occupies almost the outside too. So if you want for simplicity, just go from here up. You can kind of see it's a little bit off, but if you don't really mind the symmetry, Go ahead and click it. Um, oops, oh jeez. Uh, if that does bug you, um, what you can do is just go a little bit below and then just draw up on your own. And so I know that's a little bit straighter, so we'll try that. And again, just so you know, if you're nitpicky, otherwise, totally no problem. You just draw it how you feel. And then what we're doing is um, basically, I want to break off the traffic, but I don't want to create um, like a bottleneck intersection. I want to have everyone move in still at speed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I really want a 45 degree angle, but it has to be a perfect 45 degree angle just so it doesn't, you know, it looks nice, right? Um, and you might be thinking to yourself, how are we going to achieve that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So what we'll do is we'll follow the suggested, um, uh, tiles right here, the, or the length or whatever. We'll go out two and then we'll go up two. And then what we do now is just boom, perfect 45 degree angle. And we'll get rid of this right here. And then now you can kind of see when traffic comes in, there's no stopping points. It's just, boom, perfect. And hopefully they'll utilize, you know, the lanes efficiently too. Which they seem to. Like, I've done this layout quite a few times. And now with this, we want to continue our one way up. And I want to go out. Oh, just out of the limits. Basically, the map I'm using, as you can see, is not overly friendly for the right-hand side. That's totally no problem. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to create, um, again, like no intersections, just smooth traffic once it gets into the city. And so now we're just going to switch to um, two-way road. That way we can just build some industry and they can kind of freely move in and out. But what I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to switch over to a one-way road. Because basically what you might be thinking is, oh, how do people get out of the industrial zone? Well, we're going to make a cool little connection to the other side. All right, so we'll draw that out by one. We're going to hit page up. That's going to elevate the road. Just go right to the beginning. Sorry, right to the end or, you know, right to the edge here. That's what the word I'm looking for. And then right over. And we can do, again, another cool kind of 45 degree but this time like a swoop angle. So let's go like this to bring it down. 
and then we're going to switch to um, our Kirby roads and out one over one now you can kind of see a nice little smooth curve and then let's actually straight road this for a little bit in case we want to add some more incoming traffic lanes and when I say that I mean people you know coming this way to use this as an exit point for the city and then we'll go up one and then over there we go and what we can do now is just a little bit of expansion on this so we'll go and this part you can do however you want that's the fun part of this game so I want a bit of a curved road here I'm going to switch to a straight road but what I'm going to do is um actually you know, let's keep it to the curves I'll do it this different this time there we go and curve again just because I like you know I don't like overly tight curves or anything silly like that. So this is going to get a little bit costly, so you don't want to be going crazy. And I'm bringing this back down to ground level. And we're just going to connect this SATA right here. But we'll have a nice little curve in it too. Yeah, that's great. And then what we'll do is... Um, <clears throat> We'll complete this going this way. If you want, we can actually, what we'll do is we'll switch to this tile. So we need a straight road here. This one, not necessarily for zone, it's just more so for moving traffic pretty quickly from residential to industrial. Your other option, if you don't want to spend this, I say try doing, um, so I continue this one way down and then have a corresponding one way like this. This looks nice too, though. Okay, so let's work on our residential. We'll just kind of keep an eye on the money. We've only got about 50,000 creds left. So for this one, this is where, like, I don't want to look too grit or gritty or boring. So what we'll do is extend this a little bit further. And then this will be kind of, I want to say Main Street, but, you know, pretty much the idea of a Main Street. And I'm not going to go too far out just because of the cost, right? I'm actually going to bring that just to here. Because again, just, just keep an eye on the money. You'll go through it very quickly. And so we know those two line up. That's perfect. And so if you want, just continue that down a little bit too. Extend that one way. Again, you got to think traffic always. And then just for, just, you know, for funsies. <clears throat> See if we can get that just nice. Switch to curve. Oh, too far. When you're doing the curve road, just try to line it up with the tiles it occupies. <clears throat> cool. So that way, if they want to leave the city, you know, boom. perfect. And then now, when we're here, um, what we can do is a one way going this way and a one way going this way. I'll make that a straight. And then what we'll do is we'll go up, and then we'll switch to a curve. Like this part, like honestly, do however you wish. I just get a little bit bored of kind of seeing perfect grid when I expand my city. So I like off the get-go making these curved roads, so there's a little bit of just appeal, you know? So eventually I'll extend this outward, and then if you want, um, these look really nice, just make a little bit of a T right here, and that just kind of, or make like a Y shape. I don't know why I said T. <laughs> and then connect to there. And that way, uh, upcoming traffic or outgoing traffic can just kind of break outward. And then go into, say, like this will eventually be, like, by the water's edge, it'll be the downtown core. And this is, like, pretty much a little suburb. Okay, so you can kind of see it's, it's actually pretty efficient. We haven't spent too much money. Um, if you do want a little bit more area to work with, what we'll do is just kind of fill this in a bit. Just keep an eye on how uh, close your intersections become. And if you find this a little bit too tight, like honestly, get rid of them. Like I don't even need these roads. I might just keep that one as it is. But main thing is like don't build 
too far too fast because you just won't really be able to zone it all and you won't be able to put the pipes or anything down and so I'm actually going to build just a little bit further and then we'll kind of call it quits oops I want straight roads and if ever you're worried about how things are going to line up just kind of go a little bit further and then erase whatever you don't need Partial refund's pretty nice. And what we can do is we can continue the one way or just for, you know, the sheer sake of just, you know, to be different, just forcing traffic off these uh, side streets pretty much is basically what these will do, these types of intersections. But honestly, like a sky's the limit, do whatever you want in that sense. Just make sure your one ways are kind of feeding into each other. And, oh. See, that doesn't line up, so we'll just go like this. And that'll be a bit nicer. Okay, that's like way too much expansion. And I'll probably get rid of this just so I can bank that extra 180. Now, realistically, I think I'm going to get rid of that too. Looks a little bit crowded. Okay, so now we need a little bit of power. Check out our wind situation. That's nice, pretty close to town. Um... Power lines are pretty expensive, so the fact that this is pretty close is actually pretty convenient. Just keep an eye on the uh, noise radius. You kind of see that big orange bubble. Like, don't build it, like, you know, right here, even if this was, like, optimal wind. The most this guy will produce is 8 uh, megawatts, so I think towards the center, yeah, right about here. It's good. And we're going to wire this guy into our town. But luckily, we don't actually have to build power lines the whole way. Because, like I said, they're very expensive. So, you know what we'll do, and I, I'm going to think in terms of how I'm going to expand that street. Like, we'll erase power lines eventually, right? But just for the moment, let's just draw it right to here. Perfect. And we're going to need to use the water now. So, always look for the direction of the water. Like, make sure your sewage is not ahead of your <laughs> intake. Otherwise, oh my goodness, the headaches that will cause. <clears throat> So these guys, they're going to need power, and they're going to need uh, like pipes the whole way, so it's going to be a little bit expensive. So I don't like to draw them too far apart, but not necessarily too close together. Okay, so that hopefully is enough room. It should be, especially if it's a fast current. Okay. Now, you basically, like, don't worry about um, putting water to the outside part, especially the highways. So what I like to do, just so I don't get lost and I ensure that everyone gets water, is I like to follow the um, curved, or like follow the road pretty much. It's unfortunately an inevitable cost, that 2000, can't get away from that. And I know it's not straight, but like, holy heck, they're pipes, we don't even see them. So we basically will follow just this big road down here. And the main thing is we wanna make sure this area gets done first because if you run out of money at least you can start right here and again save all the money you can like don't feel like you gotta fill every spot like I know I'm not zoning up here so there's zero point in putting the pipes there okay last thing we need is just electricity going over here you have two options for this if the um like we'll kind of see how much does this cost if that's some absorbent cost or if it's like really really high you might actually be better off doing your own um, power plant over here. But you can kind of see like the wind doesn't really support it. So we're going to need a second power plant pretty quickly. So if you want, you can drop one now. I'm going to hold off just so I can kind of see how the budget goes. Excellent. Actually, you know what? let's live a little. We're going to need it anyway. But only put this in, guys, if you have enough money. And only after you've put in everything else. Otherwise, you'll go broke very quickly, and then you'll sit there and be like, what have I done wrong? Oh, my goodness. So I need a little bit more piping right here. So these are the kind of things you want to make sure you're you're fixing before you hit uh, play. Because all of these um, maintenance costs are suddenly going to appear. Not suddenly. They'll, they'll slowly trickle in. It'll kind of catch you off guard. So we'll very likely go into the negatives. We just want to ensure that we um, basically have a very good framework for when that happens. So if you want, as a precaution, just because we do have the extra money, 
Um, you can draw, I like to do this pattern. So I'll draw a power line network up here, up the middle of the road, and just over. Cool. And if you want, you can connect it. I wouldn't recommend it, it's just more money. And you can't build where the power lines are. And the uh, tiles themselves, they'll pass power next to each other, like the neighbors will pass power, um, if, if they're all connected to the grid. So as long as this area is connected, it'll just move outward. Okay, let's do some quick zoning, and then we'll hit play, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll kind of follow demand. But what we want to do is we want to have the people move in a line towards um, that power. Kind of act like the power lines for us, but they'll be taxpaying power lines, if that makes any sense to you guys. So I've got a few options when you're placing your uh, your zoning. You can use the, the fill tool, which fills in all connecting tiles. Within reason, doesn't do the whole. It'll give you, you can kind of see almost the whole length, right? Um, if you want, you can do the marquee, which just kind of fills in a selected and highlighted area. Um, if you don't like that, right click and hold. Same effect, but backwards. Here's a cool little tip. Click on a square, and it'll follow those squares much easier than if you want to do this to zone, right? See, that's so hard. Or you can do one at a time if you want, and then you can right-click to get rid of them. Um, and then you've got paintbrushes, too. And a bigger one. This one is very nice. Oh, so nice. Um, and if you want, right-click, same effect. Same thing happens with your districts, too. You can just right-click. Don't worry about that later. Okay, so first things first, we do want some um, peoples. And like I said, we want to kind of fill in this area first. So we'll just do some painting. We want to encourage people. I'm trying to go to the marquee. I'm making a mess here. We want to encourage people, like I said, to follow up here, kind of where we tell them. Now, just the way that the streets are set up, um, I'm not going to zone past this point because there's no turnaround point, as you can see. So anyway, if I build a store here, like anyone wanting to like work there and stuff has to go out to the region and back, which doesn't really make any sense. So don't zone there. Um, in the interim, though, what I'm doing is um, I'm going to zone commercial up this wall just to that power line. And if it doesn't reach it by the time we go broke, um, that would suck. You know what? Actually, let's just let's just be safe. Let's be super safe. We have extra money. I sometimes make my starting thing a little bit bigger, and you can see you kind of cut it really close. Now we're just going to play it super safe. And then eventually we'll get rid of these and just, you know, thank the money. But for the interim, now we don't have to worry about what I was saying. So we can unzone most of this, and that's just really helpful in terms of traffic. Okay. All right, let's just hit play. That should be enough people. So you can um, just use the numbers, one, two, and three. That changes the speed, spacebar for pause, or just click if you want. Let's just see. So first the uh, buildings get built, and then the people move in. Kind of see we have no population yet. And this was that uh, cost that I was telling you about that's going to start stacking, like all the maintenance costs and everything. That will very quickly eat your, uh, your budget out. You'll be broke. All right, so you can kind of see double check in water, good coverage. Perfect, and our first citizens are moving in. <clears throat> so we'll just crank up the speed. Basically, the first wave of people will move in, then they'll suddenly want somewhere to shop and stuff to do, and then they'll want a job. So you can kind of see demand is already starting to grow. So same idea here, don't zone past the point of no return, otherwise how do people get back in? So what we're doing is we're only zoning on the inside. And then usually I'll build out here as well. As you can see, not enough room. But what we can instead do is go like this and just build out here. So these kind of spots, these are suitable for the paintbrush. Just gotta make sure you don't go into your adjacent tiles. And I sometimes like to fill in just the little ones like this. Um, Cause it sometimes gives you cool little fillers like little lots and storage spaces and stuff and little tanks and everything. So you can see the power didn't make it over here. Um, the, the fix for that is you just go like this. 
And I totally forgot because I actually put the power line on the wrong side. I meant to go over here when I did it. And why can't I? There we go. Okay, and then let's get rid of this part. So now you can kind of see uh, residential demand is taken over. Once you more people move in, then um, this will go. I know that might be bugging someone, so I'll do it for you. Okay, and then, you know, from here on out, just kind of follow the demand, grow your city. Keep an eye on traffic. Don't bunch up the uh, commercial zones. Kind of break them out. Otherwise, you get too much truck traffic trying to refill the uh, the stores with goods. Make that taller. Otherwise, the sky is the limit. The game is yours, guys. <clears throat> and oh, this poor little guy right here. No one will ever work there. <laughs> Perfect. Boom in industry. And we missed out on some pipes. No problemo. Caught that just in time. Otherwise, we are good to go. And you kind of see, we can't raise the taxes yet, so we're kind of dependent on the base rate just kind of balancing itself out. And by the looks of things, we definitely are going to be making a positive uh, budget here. And we did not even cross the negative. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we just let this run for a few minutes. You can kind of see all the tiles have filled up. We've got a positive budget. Everything is looking great. So from this point onward, yeah, just kind of watch your uh, your RCI demand. And um, yeah, just have a lot of fun. Don't build too too quickly. Um, every milestone unlocks new, uh, new problems, so be prepared for them. If you guys found this video pretty helpful, uh, let's go ahead and like, and uh, or hit the like button. And if you want, subscribe for some more. Like, I'm looking forward to making some content. Um, if you guys have any problems or anything, leave me some comments, and maybe I can make some videos kind of showcasing how to fix them or whatnot. All right, guys. Best of luck with your cities, and uh, hope to see you uh, posting some uh, content of your own. All right. Thanks for watching.